Coronavirus! Coronavirus! <laughs> There we are, getting her cranked up for a thirsty Thursday here on We Got a Chase. Myself, Credence, and the sick Mikey, not Mikey the Legend, just just Mikey. Uh, Mikey the Legend today. part is, um, you know, it's in hiatus. Really, Creed, I lied to you. I said, Creed, I don't feel well today, but really, I was in grieving mode for the loss of the Queen. Uh, yeah, that was uh, no surprise, I guess, in a way. I mean, she was ninety six. You're that old. God, little Linda, that's uh, oof, little Linda, mean, very anti uh, England sentiment. She don't, like, don't like you people across the pond. Well, we love the 10 to 12 percent of you that are our audience, yeah, that's right, here for Thirsty Thursday Creed. Yeah, everything we watch today is going to be uh, drunk related under the influence. There's no tail lights, but it's got driving lights on. Up to no good. This person decided they didn't want to stop. Overtaking vehicles now on MMB. Always so love these uh, at night Denver, and from atop. Like a bad video game. Mason. You can run, but you can't hide, oh, Creed. Doing a U-turn. We are southbound now. Oh, boy. Stand by. Oh, boy. Uh, uh, by the way, uh, okay. yeah, we had nothing uh, this afternoon because uh, Mikey wasn't feeling good. I had a chance to get caught up on things. And guess what I did? Still westbound. Still westbound bevel. We're gonna be coming up to Nova here. The best laid plans. I think we gotta stick it. Stick it. Okay. Last way towards us, stick it. Apparently I needed it though. He's stuck it like a pig. Okay, he's in opposing traffic now. He's uh westbound in the eastbound lanes of Bevel in front of uh, I saw these weird yeah, Gatorade down, things that are like these little okay, he's starting to spin out here. Things you he's, press uh, down into flavor your water. Start they're start they're like bombs, if you will. Flavor bombs. Flavor no, bombs. Debris coming off in the road if you're coming from the south. The, the makers like. of bath bombs. I like Powerade more. Uh, did we have a uh, poll by. today? By the way. I agree we do. We've seen a huge influx lately of police officers, judges, oh, wow. lawyers, things like that, getting arrested for a drunk driver. I think we just footballed out of this car. Uh, um, right. So the question today is, do you think a police officer should lose their job oh, after yeah, one DWI arrest? Yes, one male running. One male. Wow, we can see his uh, dong from that far. Running, uh, <laughs> yeah, good eyes. Uh. The house. Yeah. Good eyes or well endowed. One to two, Creed. He might have tripped over it getting out of the car. <laughs> That's it. Whoa. 606 Van Ness. 606 Van Ness still running in the backyard. But, uh, yeah, exciting show today. We'll, we'll have a lot of fun. Canines on scene. I like this, so then we go to the ground. They're giving us every medium that we could ask for. Somebody can continue down the road where the bailout was. Just keep coming around and take your first left and uh, follow that straight around. He's about three houses to the east. This has got to be like the ultimate game of running out towards Ginsburg. Running out towards Ginsburg. In front of uh, 1325 Ginsburg. He's on the uh, one two side. G7 on the hill. I heard yeah. Edwin, Edwin remembers when uh, the Queen was born. It was a great day. My man. <laughs> Are we trying to hide, I believe? Yeah. Uh, we're trying, Kree, but uh, it's hard to hide from that camera in the sky. Okay, running back out to North Street. Still on North Street, running. He's going the distance. Sweet T, how's it going? Yeah, apparently, there were uh, not many cops too close to him for that. No, he's really got a, a good lead on him. We need the dog. 
not dog the bounty hunter, just dog. <laughs> My son yeah. asked me today, he said, uh, so Queen Elizabeth II died. Does that mean Queen Elizabeth III will take over? That's, That's a good question. What happens there? Huh? Uh, well, we have a king creed. King me. Gary! I told my sons, I said, yeah, and they're like, oh, she's not doing well, it says. I said, no, she's already dead. Don't you see all those right people going right. in there? <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'm just trying to get them to lay down. Give them to lay down. Is he, is he taking care of small children at bedtime? I said lay down. Get in that bed right now. I'm going to whoop your ass. It, it, it the seems as if this dude's put on some good mileage. He is busted through, like, 30 backyards at this point. He's he's pooping. Okay, he's squatting. Underneath a boat. Oh. At 544 Heineman. 554 John? Is that what they just said? John Heineman. What am I drinking? What do you think I'm drinking? I'll let you figure that out. Okay, he's now back up. There's there's a lot of stuff in this backyard. I don't know what it is. Uh, it's uh, a hoarder's yard. Go through the backyard. Maybe they're yeah, just the collector of yeah, things on shelves. You, know, he's, he's you ever think of that, Mikey? <laughs> Maybe. I saw several coons just scattered about the yard. Uh, back out towards Hillcrest. Deborah, taking full advantage of $4 Hillcrest. Thursday today. I'm glad you got the message. Thank you. Three ninety nine. I like I like getting different denominations of money because it's uh oh well, there's yeah Charles will be the new queen uh King Charles okay we're on the road does that again. mean right. the the wife was she Camilla will she be a queen too Queen Camilla well no, that's it see or, today's a good day for the shirtless dad I like that perfect shirtless dad day Bruce. How are you? Okay, you got him. He sees you. Oh, my. Those of you didn't know uh, that the cops were 40 miles away. when we... <laughs> It took forever to get to this guy. Gary! I mean, the dog was there. <laughs> That's a good boy. Oh, that's a good boy, Benny. Oh, yeah, buddy. Oh, yeah. You found that man. By the way, if anyone is at mayor level and they would like a birthday video, please send me a message and let me know when your birthday is. Thank you. Ahead of time. Thank you. There's your uh, thing for the day. Uh, I owe you five and the 25 cent I owe you. Like that. Thank you, Julie. Julie knows how to take care of business. Appreciate you. I'll mark you off. I got my pen. Crash in South Lake ended with one truck in a pond and two women in custody. No, no. Police suspect both hey, women no. were driving drunk when they crashed into each other. Police huh? found one of the women soaking wet after she escaped her submerged truck. Okay, let Colorado. me get this right, Creed. Two separate drunk driving women hit each other, and one of them ended up in the river or pond, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> What's the chances of that? Two drunks finding each other out on the road and hitting one another. I mean, that's poetic justice, but it works it's out. It's gonna be weird odds. Of course, Phil Alvarado is live at Bicentennial Park in South Lake, where it all happened. Phil. Good to see Captain Kangaroo it's getting work. It's right at the edge of the park, and it's right next to the roadway. Uh, police say that the driver of the pickup uh, <laughs> tried to swipe another car in the roadway, but then continued going about 45 yards and into the water. Nobody was hurt, but both drivers went to jail. We're really lucky that no one ended up getting hurt in this accident. Not only is this a case of two suspected drunk drivers crashing into each other, looks some similar. vehicles went smashing into a South Lake Park and into a pond. Police say 29-year-old Haley Holenga was driving the SUV. 31-year-old oh. Taylor Berlingeri okay. was steering the pickup that went out of control into Bicentennial Park. Wait, she was steering the pickup kind of like my friend that uh, came home from Cherries, his wife driving. Yes. Is that <laughs> duo. <laughs> a duo Whenever drive. Whenever she crossed the median and come through here, it looks like she probably hit this brick flower bed pretty hard. Uh, kind of came through here and then went airborne right over here to where she 
collided with these trees and then these little bushes and then went down into the pond over there. The only good thing about the accident is that it happened at 1240 in the morning when the park was deserted. Police say Burlington. And uh, almost seven hours after I went to bed after dinner at the K&W. Yeah, he's got his, quite a voice. So it's fine. It happened then because uh, I haven't been on the road at 1240 in almost 40 years. Harry was already out of the truck when officers arrived. Um, and one of the first ones that arrived uh, saw uh, a young lady walking down the sidewalk over here and, uh, and just sopping wet. I believe she told officers that she just swam out and that uh, as the car was in there, she swam out and, and just started walking. Police say the pickup was... Oh, hey, that's a good point. Did anybody have uh, Queen Elizabeth and the dead part? I forgot we all did the dead Yeah, the, somebody did. I have to go back and look. It might have mean. It might have been me. I gotta go back and watch that episode now. Well, what that you did. I know that. You're probably gonna be the winner that I'm. He's on South Lake Boulevard when it lost control, and sideswiped the black SUV also headed in the same direction. A check of Texas criminal records show neither suspect has any prior DWI arrest. Something both women now do have in common. It is pretty unique that you know both drivers were arrested for suspicion of DWI. Hi, Bob. South Lake Police say they have a very aggressive DWI enforcement policy, but they admit this is one of their more unique cases. Well, they also missed it because they, they got in an accident. KOAT.com. We call it the coat. A man is caught driving so drunk he threw up in front of police and passed out in a squad car. <laughs> we have dash cam video of the police chase that ended with a crash. Oh, a dash cam video of the throw up. Live for us in our Santa Fe newsroom with that story. Good evening. A 25 year old man is behind bars after desperately trying to get away from police. I might turn your mic off. And many God, I was just going to warn her. Hey, your uh, webcam mic is on. It sounds like shit. You're talking through the webcam. No, you're supposed to be the coat. Drivers in serious danger. Oh, a drunk man I trying to flee crashed into another car. The crash stopped the car, but it didn't stop the suspect. Police say the suspect then crawled out of the window and ran away, but an officer tased him to stop him. Drunk and driving again. As a skunk. And driving recklessly away from police. Police say 25 year old Jesus Rodellas Castillo was so drunk he vomited profusely and then passed out in the back of the squad. <laughs> Even. As it happens to uh, Noah Gregson when he gets done, did you, I, I'm sure you didn't see it, but at the end of the race uh, in Darlington, uh, it, there was a very awkward moment because they were trying to uh, try to talk to him, and he's just he's got this flushed look. You could just tell he's trying to hold off everything to get ready. I, I was ready for him live on TV at the end of that race to just just let it go. That's what he does. It didn't happen, but it was a very awkward. Well, moment. I mean, profusely vomiting. This all started when an officer saw Rodella Castillo speeding on Cerrillos Road, Santa Fe's busiest street. When they tried to pull him over, Rodella Castillo took off, driving the wrong way through stop signs in neighborhoods and on main roads. Which is just scary because you had oncoming traffic and then who knows what could have been in the neighborhood at that time. Finally, it was the crash that stopped him. In the hospital, Rodellis Castillo told investigators nice he had been drinking. Yes. The passenger Good also point. told police Rodellis Castillo was drinking a beer while driving and didn't stop for the cop because got out of work. Yeah. Stop that got himself a road pop. It's no big deal. He can do the repairs himself. It's going to save you guys tons of money. Yeah, he just got done repairing vehicles as it is. They didn't want to get caught. And the reason he's on probation a long criminal history, including drunk driving. That's it's ridiculous that. to think that you Hello, can operate Chief. a vehicle in that condition and not put other people's lives at risk is its just irresponsible. And illegal. <laughs> the suspect wouldn't talk to like police the in the hospital, requested an attorney, but he did voluntarily admit that he was drinking and driving. And he also said to the officer, quote, I was trying to get away. I don't need to answer anything. Hey, by the way, does anybody enjoy my $4 million replica uh, necklace I'm wearing today? Anybody? That's gorgeous. Reporting live in Santa Fe tonight, Alana Grimstad, KOAT, Action 7 News. The Big passenger foot, was also arrested lie. for fleeing the scene. He told officers he ran away because he was scared and didn't know what to do. It's a great excuse. Works every time. I mean, it's true, I guess, right?
On Griffin, good to see you. Tonight, a central Ohio attorney is facing a felony burglary charge tonight after police say he drove drunk with a two-year-old in the car and then <clears> kicked <throat> his way into a Reynoldsburg apartment. 10 TV's Maureen Kosad is live in Reynoldsburg with this story. Was the kid now. drinking with them or each other? Police provided 10 TV with a copy of the 911 call. It recorded the confrontation between the attorney and people inside the home. Now, police say when they arrived, they have found that attorney bloodied on the front porch. And that's not all they found. <laughs> Gerald Salters appeared bruised and battered when he faced a Licking County judge via teleconference to answer. <laughs> to Judge George, everybody. It's just a weird view. We're not used to seeing him like, you know, get like at eye level almost. Yeah. Like as if you're a child at Judge George's place. Look at that. Licking Ohio, ladies and gentlemen. Those of you who don't know why we watch Judge George and Judge Stansbury a lot. Almost every day. Daily, yeah. Felony charge of aggravated burglary. Salters told the judge he's an attorney and says he needs to get out of jail so he can get back to work. 14 months, Doug. Miracles never ceased. Face looks puffy. 10 TV has obtained nearly a half dozen 911 calls made from this apartment complex on Bush Drive in Reynoldsburg last night, reporting a man trying to kick in the door and <laughs> fighting with another man on the front Boom. porch. We are all inside. The door is barricaded. So we just have Gary Salton is on my porch beating up. Okay, my officers are there. Gary! He broke into my house. 10 TV has obtained court records which reveal when police arrived, <laughs> Salters appeared intoxicated. Officers said no. he was slurring his words and had a strong smell of alcohol on him. Court Bastard. records show when police asked Salters if he drove here, he told them yes, but said his car was parked far away. It was only then that Reynoldsburg police discovered a two-year-old girl alone in that car. Salters made no admissions and offered no apologies the birthmark? before the judge set his bond at $50,000. Now, we want to make it clear tonight. No OR bond? I'm surprised. Aggravated burglary. Here is what's Shot. next in the case. Now a grand jury will listen to the evidence to decide whether to file formal charges. The prosecutor says those charges could include OVI and child endangering. Live in oh, it should. If you got a two-year-old in the car while you're driving around drunk. But they didn't look where'd, that, where'd that kid come from? Oh, we're going to South Side. Yeah. Man. Uh, any, uh, what, 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 this guy's an Uber driver, and well, he's picked up a drunk, and uh, the drunk is trying to make him crash. He's uh, a little belligerent, I guess you would say, Creed. And well, this driver's kind of dressed up a little bit like he was just at the American Space League. Man. <laughs> Is it a tiny car? Oh, is he just? Go. Oh, God, he knock him out. Go, man. We're going to crash. I would be elbowing that guy in the face so hard. Looks a little like Alex Jones. And also be you, slamming on you, my brother? brake, also. We're not gonna die, man, but you gotta let go. No, I love you, brother. I love you, brother. You gotta let go, man. I love you, brother. I love you, brother. They're not even related. You know he's drunk. Look how squinty his eyes are. Brother, I love you, brother. Can you try to kill me? Has zero chill. Okay. Are we on a highway? It's sitting in the middle of the highway. Thought so. Luckily, no one has hit this car from behind yet. Well, wipers are deployed in the back, anyways. Oh, and people are coming up on. Oh, I'd be so scared. Yeah, that's why I don't understand. I'd be beat this guy senseless. He's trying to do a Harry Carry. Hey, good to see you, Joseph. What's your problem, dude? 
Why are you? Why is he not like elbowing him or something? What are you doing? Why are you trying to kill us? Why is Terry Funk not beating this guy's ass? We're on the freeway, dude. If we get hit, we're dead. What are you doing? I mean, now they're trapped almost. I mean. Yeah, but why can he not just drive and move over? You telling me? I would open his door and kick him out. He doesn't have a seatbelt on. Yeah. He won't let go of my steering wheel. He's drunk and crazy. I, At I the very the least. The cops are on their way. I just don't want to get hit. He's grabbing my steering wheel. He won't let go. I've tried to beat him off of me, and he won't let go. He Whoa. Whoa. Try to beat him off. Yes. Whoa. Got real sexy real fast. I can't, as soon as I try to move, he's got my steering wheel. Sorry. Oh. I, mean, I know you got kids. Sorry. Oh, the cops uh -huh. are on the way, so as long as nobody's going to crash into me, I'm I, I'm good just to sit here, I guess. Uh, you want me to stay here right here? That, that'd be awesome if you could. That way we got more of a... How about just uh, pull him out? Clock, maybe? Yeah. yeah, he's Chinese, but he, he speaks English. Dude, what <laughs> are you doing? Let go of the steering wheel. <laughs> he's Chinese, but he speaks English. There is so much off Thanks, about man. this. I, I appreciate it. Suddenly so he starts asking me, have you ever crashed? No, man, I'm good. Um, we're going to crash. I'm like, no, we're not going to crash. I'm just thinking he's drunk and, you know, say, just talking nonsense. Yanked the car, care. two lanes of traffic. And, um, of course, I freaked out and hit his hand and, you know, you stay there. I'll stay Oh, uh, wait a minute. All right. So is he one of those cool Uber drivers that have, like, a, a, the beats going? And you see on the right up in here? Mm -hmm. Like, it's almost like a club. And he said he yanked the wheel and they went across two lanes of traffic. Like, watch the lighting up on top. You across see what I'm saying? The traffic. And, um, of course, I freaked out. It's like a hand. disco ball back you know, there. You stay there. I'll stay here. Let me get you home. Because what weird. am I going to do? I can't drop him off on the side of the freeway. Why not? Then, yes, this is exactly what you do. You you kick his ass out of the car. You don't go anywhere. <laughs> like cash cab, yes. Oh, well, hello there. Oh, is this a live view of everybody partying over in the UK today? This is live view. But they're taking it hard, Creed. We are in the UK. I'm glad you were right. able to figure that out. All right. Hold on a second. Um, are we just in a park? Um, There's... Unless they call it something different over there. I'm going to say yes. Uh, we've been tearing down uh, pieces of branches. We've got garbage everywhere. Is she gonna puke on her, or is the girl in the black gonna just? No, she's not. Are all these girls drunk? Oh, oh! Please don't show it. Is she gonna go right on her arm? Is she puking in a little stream, or is that just the edge? <laughs> is that a giant bottle of Stella Artois he has right here? It's just it's a park where you just go get hammered, I guess, during the day. This is the old drinking park. That's pretty bad when they got to come and uh, help you during the day, drunk. Quite a spot. Yeah, this is uh, this is where the party's at. Again, people, drink responsibly. In a park during the day. Yeah. You know, drunk. As drunk as a skunk. Man. Fancy day drinking. What does this guy say? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Is there no audio on this? For real? Oh, for real. No audio on this. Uh, yeah, it's going to be a long video then. It's going to be a long video with no audio. I don't know why it does that. Yeah, yeah, no. yeah we might as well skip that video then. Because otherwise, you're just going to look at a guy go... Uh, <laughs> All right, we'll save that one for another day. I don't know why it does that. I don't either. No clue. Well, now there's no, no. We got to chase. Uh, a suspected drunk driver leads police on know. a long chase back and forth on I-40 around Albuquerque, topping a hundred miles an hour. News 13's Brady Wakayama shows you how <laughs> the suspect himself finally no police catch him. 
a wild chase that lasted about 25 minutes and covered more than 40 miles. It all started on June 10th around 2 a.m. on I-40 near Wyoming when a state police officer noticed a white BMW SUV coming up behind him 102 miles an hour. Whoa! The Joseph Gomez slowed down. Did, did you just say 200 miles an hour? 102 miles an hour, but I like 200 miles. I, 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 I'm hearing things. Then By the way, we've seen this chase. Yeah. But we didn't have any of this information. So this is a, uh, we've seen the entire chase. Mustard Craze, thank you. Thank you for the donos. And uh, anybody that would like to send over uh, a dono, please do so now. We can do that after or with PayPal down below. But this was a chase we saw. And this is going to give us the information. On the interstate, even using the shoulder, eventually he turned off into Moriarty, where he hit a curb. Within a minute, dash cam catches Gomez's rear passenger tire flying off. That's when he decided to ditch the BMW, making his way into a truck stop. Oh, the leases. Before slamming into a brick wall. It wasn't caught on video, but Gomez took off running but didn't get far before officers nabbed him. Oh, he don't look like a good runner. The Not at all. was passed out in the back of the police car. Brady Wakayama, KRQE, News 13. Yeah, he don't like, he could Gomez run too refused to take a breathalyzer or let police draw his blood, so he was arrested for aggravated DWI. Police say he already has two DWI convictions nice. and no driver. Well, our guy, I figured that. He doesn't have a, a license, but he owns a BMW SUV. Ah, uh, here we are. Derbyshire. Oh! Uh, Lloyd, you see that one? Thank you for the three bones. Uh, just how alcohol can affect your ability to drive safely. That's a hard hit. On the roof. I mean, that could have been really bad. I wonder if there's a Chinese guy in there grabbing the wheel or not. It could be. Blowing a hundred and what three was times? They, going, they were going two hundred miles an hour. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess I didn't have to rewind it. They've they've uh, stacked it for us. They stacked and stacked it and stacked. It could have been fatal. This could have been a fatal video, but it didn't. Yeah, box truck didn't want to be uh, bothered with any of that shit. He's got deliveries to make. He ain't got all day. Sit so around here, wait for you. Two thousand twenty-two. An officer was on routine patrol when they observed a white speeding vehicle in Glendale, Wisconsin. Why's well, it got to be white? After the vehicle had slowed abruptly, it failed to stop for the red light and began driving on the wrong side of the divided highway. Call an ass, right? Girl! <laughs> Hallelujah! Thank you. The officer pursued the vehicle, however, it failed to yield to law enforcement and reached 65 miles an hour in a 35 mile per hour zone. Uh, when somebody uh, PayPal's me 50 bucks, Lloyd, I'll be back. Uh, or 5,000. Or 5,000. To my paper. Then I'll stream tonight. The vehicle continued to drive recklessly <laughs> Broke. until it struck a concrete barrier at 70 miles per hour. Oh! Did he say 200? Into, he's going the wrong way into wrong way traffic. This has been really bad. Oh, rolling. Oh, it's just, it's just rolling down the road. Did you see? As the vehicle rolled, the officer observed an occupant <gasps> ejected from the front passenger window. Oops. Let me see your hands. Put your hands. He's sitting up. there seductively. How many people are in the car? They are having a stage in the 1700 block of Bender. Well, they were hoping that the cop was live on the, in the car? TikTok. Just you and one other? The occupant stated it was only her and the driver, later identified as 30-year-old Tamika Holmes. Oh, Tamika. Did they say she was 200 years old? I, I believe so. Okay. That she only had a bra on somehow. We'll take her. You go over there and just... Is that that... Uh... The mark on the ground creed is that from her? You think? I mean, it looks like her oil is leaking if you look right there from her hind end. Feeling bad, feeling good, Creed Freeman. 
You knew it would. Ladies and gentlemen, that was the 200th overall uh, Creed frame ever. Right, just take just lay down. Just lay down. We got, we got ambulances coming. Just roll on your stomach. On my stomach? Get on your stomach, please. Yes, your stomach. The officers approached the vehicle. Tamika was unconscious and trapped in the driver's seat. So oh, like two occupants. Um, stand by. You in here? <laughs> Somebody's been shopping for some Pumas. Yeah. Can we look inside the box? 736, we have a driver in the passenger seat. Uh, looks like she's unconscious. Yeah, she looks fine. She's good. Hey, you okay? Pull her off again. I can't tell if there's a pulse. Get gloves on. Yep. No, let's get some gloves on. No gloves. Right through the windshield. windshield. Uh, somebody do a wellness check on Bob, please. He's speaking in tongues again. Possibly stroking out. I couldn't tell heads from tail on her. She kind of wadded up in the bottom. Why'd you have to say that was number one? Why can't you just say that was the last one? Hey, baby. Scissor me, daddy ass. Will he come back? Number two for the day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to just download them all right here in the last video. Yeah, you'd unfortunately get drunk uh, at the last of them. Now or what? I hope she doesn't have any life-threatening injuries because it seems like we're just fondling her around. Well, she does. We'll go over there to Ace Hardware, get her patched right up. I thought it was Ace Bandage. I didn't know that. Wake up and get out this car. Some asshole behind her trying to get them to move so they could drive by honking a horn. She's like, get out of the way. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of surprised that they're trying to pull her out because I, I thought they usually leave that for the... God, how impatient sitting back there honking. Oh, my God. And she loves friends. Who knew? After she was removed from the vehicle, There's some... officers detected an odor of intoxicants coming Ugh. from a person and slurred speech. And she's got road ra road rash on her ass now that they just pulled her 1,500 feet from the car. And she's just like the other lady, laying there all seductively. They usually do, Pierre. Okay. Stay land on the ground. What's your first name? Huh? Huh? Nika Hong. She's kicking her pulse. Nika Hong. Nika Holmes? Yep. Meek. 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 But not the smell of intoxicants, bud. She's got the you know smell. Right you know what just happened? Yeah. Uh, He's taking a nap here by Ace Hardware. Huh? Have it. What day of the week is it? It's 2022. Okay. Oh, wow. That's a good day of the week. 2022, my favorite day of the week. Whenever well. they ask me that, I was anything hurt on you? answer to. You were involved in an accident, okay? Is anything What's your favorite TV show? Do you remember that? <clears throat> probably hates the show, but just loves the TV. We don't know your phone is right now, man. Do you have my phone? No, I don't. Your phone, Creed. I will know. What? I wouldn't know if I was there. And I have my other phone. Hmm. How many phones phone. you got? I thought he was holding hands with the That's firefighter. Do you know her? <laughs> yeah. They're going to sing Kubaya real quick. Okay. I'm not going to lie. What's she saying? Very nice girl. 
Hello. Hello. Hello, you who? Hello. Hello, you who? Uh, it's quite uncomfortable. Very, very. Yeah. Hello. 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 I do not. Hey, you feel me touching your feet? Yeah, I see you. You feel me touching you. I hear about you. I feel you, and I see you, and I creed frame you. That's right. It's the magic hour. The time for you to send over that Creed Frame dono money because it's time to play Who Knows Creed Frame's the best. Do you know your Creed Frame trivia? Sign up now online. Does Tamika know who Rachel is and Ross? Hello? Uh, somebody right on the phone. Can you feel me touch sure this phone? Okay. And that's your fault. You got ID? Leave this sign, okay? No, what you mean? No, that, that's your fault. Relax. Well, I got to put it on. Relax. Oh, she's starting no. to get mad. You're in an accident. I know that okay. I was. Listen. Let go with this hand, please. I know that I was, I, okay. I was in an accident. Stop mm -hmm. doing it. Stop. I know that today is 2022. Okay? What you mean? Stop. Man? Stop. Give me your hand. What you mean? Stop. Excuse me. I do have an ex somebody that's standing over just, here. Just relax. You can't do this. Just relax. Well, oh, she's really getting rowdy now. No, that's not how this extends. Excuse me. This is not how this extends. Hello. But this is not how this extends. Hello. This is not how this is done. Is that what she's saying? Yeah, this is not how. Uh, I don't know. She's singing, kind of. I'm going to pull her back and put her into the uh, vehicle just like she came out. Oh, you're all out, you stupid bitch. Oh! discovered Tamika had a suspended driving status and one previous conviction for OWI. Why y'all don't want to let me, let me go? Let me go. Uh, she's really starting to slur now. Y'all don't want to let me go. Might be Dave. <laughs> she's contractions. Oh, stupid, stupid bitch. It's a bunch of stupid bitches, Pierre. Oh, they went up there? No, she was like jerking back and forth, oh rolled up it, hit the wall. She was jerking, green. I couldn't see the contact mark on the wall, but I saw the, I'm the, pretty the front sure. bumper is there. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> the bumper is on the wall, and then there's a big... Yeah. You keep bumping me against the wall. She was taken to a hospital where she had a hard time remembering anything and refused to submit to an evidentiary blood test. Tamika and her passenger suffered non-life-threatening injuries. Is there a drunk? The passenger was discharged from the hospital and released without charges. I mean, she got thrown from the car. Tamika was charged with <laughs> felony counts of operating while under the influence. Second offense. Second degree recklessly endangering safety and fleeing eluding an officer causing injury. Her cash bond was set at $2,000. 2000 uh, You got over 200 bones? Oh, my God. That's it. Uh, uh, let me uh, let me back up very quickly before we call it. Let me back up real quick and see. Go ahead. On August fifth, two thousand. That's the one we just did, right? Officer yeah. On August. Yeah, that. another code blue cam. The one where the guy gets pulled off the airplane. Well, I don't like want to drive or lead. Oh, I'll just do it this way now. So stupid. Uh, by the way, uh, 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 push. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Sorry. Our poll question today was, you know, with the increasing amount of officers that are being arrested for DWI, do you think they should be fired after their very first one? El numero uno, just once. Yeah, uh, still, over, yeah, still no, no, I don't know. yeah, I don't know why. Um, it's a good one too. We'll have to play it another day. Um, 73% of you said yes over here, over on the, uh, we got to chase chase exclusive channel that only has 78 likes. Can you please, for God's sakes, like this video before you do anything else.
where you take another drink, another smoke, or anything. Uh, over here on the illustrious Credence and Bishop shoe, 65% of you said yes, so overwhelmingly on both. They think one DUI, you lose your job. One and done. Creed, thoughts on that? Uh, well, I was just looking uh, at how windy it is. Uh, uh, I was saying how hot that uh, lady in the white shirt was. I know you thought she was hot or it was just me and why that guy's dragging around a giant chair behind a four wheeler. <laughs> Cause it's the end of the season. Nobody's going to want to be on his beach anymore. Cause it already looks like it's about 50. Don't ask him that he doesn't feel good. You know what? It's Florida Friday tomorrow. <laughs> I'm telling you, you're gonna forget it tomorrow. It's gonna be behind a paywall for members only at six o'clock. We'll see. Speaking of members only, if you'd like to become a member, still have time. I don't know if they're holding over the special. Well, you'll have to just go see uh three dollars a month. As easy as pie, clicking the old join button on the Cream and Bishop Show YouTube page allows you access to all of our old now, not just that we have a members only coming up, you get the entire back catalog of members only material you've never seen, hours upon hours upon hours of entertainment for as little as three dollars. I think it's quality. I think it's quality. Uh, hey, Mikey, did you get the dollar 99 from After Hours yesterday? I don't know. I haven't looked at anything today. But if you say you sent it, if so, you're the first person ever to send a thank you. Thank you. No, I, I would imagine maybe we missed it. Like just, or maybe it was, uh, maybe it was. But we've also had some running uh, pretty late after we've said goodbye from uh, old our guy. He, he likes to push the limits. Uh, apologize today about missing out on Voyeur Voyage and uh, court could, could not be helped. Could not be helped. Football tonight, Creed. You're gonna watch? Absolutely not. I will care less watching. about your balls of foot. I'll be watching tonight. Uh, but yeah, definitely feeling better. I had a huge gland behind my ear. <laughs> That uh, expanded uh, to its limits. And that's going down. Tons of antibiotics, lots of good drugs. Uh, no, I don't have that sort of time to watch that, to be honest with you. Good dudes, though. I know they tell great stories, and uh, people do tell us in the chat that a lot happens. I've, I just, I, I don't. I've only heard good things about those guys. Really good things. Yeah, I just, uh, I don't. A lot maybe of people in the chat do, though. Hey, maybe we'll have them on sometime. Nah. Maybe we'll, uh, you know, story time with Bob and Pat. Nah. Coming in hot. Nah. No, thank you. Who's they? They never saw my anniversary. You had an anniversary? I bet you did. And I bet it was a good one. Who that? I'm not surprised if we missed something. Uh, I don't know. I see somebody. I don't have a parole officer, Lisa. Mikey Mike. No, not no more. Um, I'm not checking with my PO anymore. Ever again. I want to go back. I want to go to back to mug and mallet. Uh, that's a terrible sign, by the way. Well, it looks like they made it themselves or I made it for them. I also think you get a lot of splinters from walking on that uh, boardwalk. Oh, oh, us two doofuses. Two doofuses. Sorry. It happens. I'm I'm scrolling back. Maybe I've seen it. Maybe I haven't. Do 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 do. But we'll be back tomorrow. Uh full force. Very busy schedule. Bishop's got what a penis? I think he does. Last time I checked. Happy, Happy 30. 30. May, what the fuck are you people talking about? 30 months a member. No, uh, right here. Uh, Constable Rich McNome. 14 months a member. And uh, 
asked Creed, are you sick of me yet? No. 14 more months at least before I get there. Our guy's going to be 40 in December. Well, congratulations, young fella. All right, guys, we are uh, out of here. Hopefully full schedule tomorrow. If Mike is feeling good. We'll be back uh, with at least, at the very least, uh, Florida Friday for We Got a Chase. Probably be there for court tomorrow. And, of course, uh, members only at 6 o'clock uh, East. I wouldn't want to be on the speech. Those birds look like they're ready to poop. I have a feeling that this is in Maryland. It just has really? a cold feel to it. It's it? not cold in Maryland. It's ocean. Well, it's probably about the same temperature as here, there. What do you think? About 80, I would guess. I had to guess. I don't see anybody wearing coats. How about a high of 75? So if count. you're on the beach, what do you mean nobody had coats? You well, these are old people. They can't help it. They have thin blood. Well, that black dude ain't that old right there. He's got on his... Well, that's the cool thing to do right now. Uh, it must be... <laughs> must be raining. She's got a raincoat on. Long sleeve. There's more long sleeve than there is short sleeve happening here right now. I see a girl laying out over there. You're, you're, you're crazy. Not happening. No, sir. Mm -mm. Long pants. Look at that. They're dressed up like, well, they're going for dinner at the KW anyways. But still. They're in the shade. It's cooler in the shade. I'm telling you, if it is 75 there. Let me see. Weather. Are you trying to tell me summer's over? It is 73 degrees right now. So if you're, if you got that ocean breeze and you're in the shade, it's definitely a little chilly. Ocean breeze makes me feel fine. I'm just lying around having a couple drinks, relaxing, randonator. And the wind at 14 miles per hour, by the way. So there's that. It's a bit, a bit breezy. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and get on out. I uh, appreciate everybody. Make sure you like this video if you haven't done so already. Please and thank you. Uh, Creed, anything else we need to make everybody aware of or no? No, uh, I wish that it was 73 here. I know that much. Uh, we'll see you guys uh, tomorrow, probably at 1 uh, East. We'll let you know on Discord if anything changes. But uh, That's right. We can't stop. We won't stop. We'll be here every day. Until next time, don't get an infection because it's bad news. <laughs>